Nick Dembski is a four-time CIS All-Canadian, the youngest CIS football player to do so. A native of Winnipeg, Dembski is described as an elite and electrifying force, now playing slot back. I used to play running back actually in high school. Um, so obviously that's, that's definitely different. You know, you're not, you're not receiving the ball, you're more running it, you know, getting the handoffs. Uh, slot back, I'd say, is probably, is probably the, the spot in offense where you get the ball most in open space. So I think that, that definitely uh, it allows me to do, do what I do best. Since high school, Dembski has been a dual sport athlete, playing hockey as well as football. He even received offers to play in the WHL. But Dembski chose to go all in with football. It was kind of more of a business decision, you know, where, where I think I could become a pro and also kind of where my heart was at. Uh, you know, football just, it's just a sport that, you know, benefits me the most, I think, with my athletic traits. So I stuck with football and it's been good to, good to me so far. Who would you say is your role model in life? Uh, off the field, I'd definitely say my dad. Um, you know, just, just how he's kind of you know, created this family and, uh, you know, everybody's super close and he does well for everybody. So my mom as well. My mom does an excellent job of raising, raising all the kids. I have three other siblings, so it's definitely a, a busy a busy house here. So they do a great job uh, on the field. Um, a CFL standpoint, I'd probably say Chad Owens just because I think my game and his game are, are definitely similar. Um, NFL though, you know, I've always watched clips of Jerry Rice and Michael Irvin, of course, though. So. Okay, so let's talk about pregame rituals a little bit. Uh, you're, you're a hockey guy, clearly, as well. Yeah. The best thing I've seen is uh, Jimmy Howard, the goaltender for the Detroit Red Wings. He'll be sitting in his dressing room kind of like this, and for like 30 minutes pregame, he'll just be kind of making these saves by himself. Now, I'm guessing you don't do that, no. but do you have any pregame rituals? To be honest, I don't really have too many pregame rituals. Uh, the night before, I always, uh, you know, my Under Armour that I'm going to wear, or, or my gloves, or cleats. I always take everything home and then kind of show up to the stadium with that. And uh, I always put on my left socks and my left cleat on first before my right sock and right oh, really? cleat. So, so there's a bit of that. Then. Yeah. Other than that, though, everything's pretty normal, though. Yeah. When you're walking toward the field on a game day, does it feel like a game day? Like it's different from oh, an yeah, off day, for right? Sure. Yeah. You know, off day, I'm I'm always kind of. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a loose guy, kind of energetic guy, uh, you know, a, a kind of a joking guy. So I'll, I'll kind of be like that. But on game day, definitely when I'm driving the stadium or you're walking up to the stadium, it'll kind of be, you know, a little bit more calmer and just kind of thinking about and visualizing what I'm about to do. But, you know, as soon as I get in that change room and the music starts blasting, then I'm, I'm back to my old me. So. So is that you in the dressing room, the guy that keeps the other teammates loose and joking around a little bit? Yeah, I, I'd say so. Uh, you know, I, def, I definitely, you know, within the receivers, for sure, we all kind of sat along each other. So, you know, we'd, we'd all be kind of clowning around before games and stuff like that, kind of getting each other loose and, and hyped up and stuff like that. But in, in the most case, I, I am a serious player. And uh, on, on the field, for sure, you know, it's definitely, it's definitely all business for me. All right, so let's get down to brass tacks. We're talking about your future now. Uh, you're a Winnipeg native. I'm sure many people have asked you about playing for the Bombers. You can comment on that. But also, when you think of your future, where do you want to be short term? And what's the ultimate goal? What yeah. do you think about every day? So, you know, I just want to be, be a pro athlete, whoever, whoever chooses me. Um, you know, I want to help out with that team around that city as well. You know, I'll definitely come back here in the offseason if I get drafted somewhere else. But for the most part, I, li I like to help out around the community and around the football team in that way. And, uh, you know, offseason, it's just, it's just kind of about, you know, managing your time and managing your money and, uh, you know, working out and getting better at your craft and every year come back stronger.